And it's a whole new look for Apple's Mac accessories. I'm Dan Ackerman and we're here taking a very quick look at the new Magic Keyboard, Magic Trackpad 2, and Magic Mouse 2 from Apple. I've got Apple's new Mac accessories lined up uh, with the old versions. You can see the difference. The biggest thing, of course, is that they're getting rid of the disposable batteries you have to put in there, uh, and that lets them uh, be rechargeable, connect via lightning uh, to your Mac, and, and actually sync that way, and also lose these sort of big cylindrical battery containers they used to have. So the keyboard used to have this big thing right here you have to slip in your batteries. Uh, now the new keyboard is, com is, is flat, a little bit of a wedge shape there. Uh, the key faces are actually slightly larger. Apple says that uh, it's about 13% smaller in terms of the desktop footprint. Uh, the mouse is pretty much the same. It's a tiny bit lighter, and the little rubber runners on the bottom uh, have been cleaned up just a tiny bit. Other than that, the only real mouse change is that, again, no more batteries, lightning connector right there. I think the real star of the show, however, is the Magic Trackpad 2. Now, I've used a Magic Trackpad for years, and again, it's got this cylindrical battery compartment here. Still worked perfectly fine. The new version uh, ditches that silver color. Now it's kind of a, a white slash off-white. Uh, it gets rid of the battery compartment. So again, it lies flat, a little bit of a wedge shape, lightning connector right there, just like everything else, and a much larger surface area. Apple says that's 29% bigger. Uh, and besides just having more fingers to do all your multi-touch gestures, it supports Force Touch, which is the new touchpad technology found in a bunch of the MacBooks and even in the iPhone uh, and the Apple Watch. And that means that uh, on the computer version, you, you click once and these kind of four sensors here sense that you're clicking, give you a little bit of haptic feedback as opposed to sort of a, a diving board hinge. And if you've pressed harder, you get a second perceived click that gives you contextual information, a definition for a word, a preview of a file, or even uh, Apple map directions if you do that on an address. Address. Uh, so if you're looking to give your Mac a facelift, you don't have to get a new one. You can just get these new accessories and add it on there. Uh, it's $99 for the new keyboard, $79 for the mouse, and $129, a little bit more expensive, yes, for the Magic Trackpad 2. I'm Dan Ackerman, taking a quick look at Apple's new Mac accessories.